Hello YouTube, it's me Hunter Gunslinger back with a brand new video. Now this video is a little bit different, but I'm going to show you guys how to open up your net type to be open instead of moderate. There's some key steps, a little confusing, so bear with me. I'm going to explain it the best way I can. Let's get 5 likes on this video if you want me to show you guys how to do the Destiny 2 one. So let's get started onto the video. So the key thing you want to do is make sure that you use your whatever console that you're using. I'm using PS4. You're going to go to settings and you're going to click on network onto there. And the reason why I said this is because you have to set up your internet connection to get your IP address. So once you hit to the network, go to set up internet connection and you should go on to that next part. Now a lot of people go to view connection status and go on from there. Just to save it safe, just go up to set up internet connection and go on from there. Next, you're going to click customs. Uh, well, not next, but you're going to click the it, before you even click customs. Make sure that you use whatever network connection you're going to use. I use the LAN cable one to make sure everything's kind of connected. You can use Wi Fi, that is really up to you. But in this best part, use the LAN cable version to make sure that your connection is pretty much connected. Once you do that, you're going to go to customs and you're going to make everything to automatic so you can get the right IP address for your PS4. Now the reason why I said that is because you need that for all these steps that are going to be coming up here pretty much soon. So once you do that, make sure everything's automatic, just spring through everything on the top part and go on from there. Next, you're going to test your internet connection. After you finish up the setup, test your internet connection. Make sure everything's kind of connected, everything's successful. My net type is type 2. Yours might be type 3. Yours might be type 1. Everybody's type's a little bit different, but mine's is type 2. And a lot of you said type 2 is the best. I don't know. That's people's opinion onto that situation. Next, you're going to do is view connection status. And the reason why I said view connection status, because this is your IP address for your PS4. The things that are black out and the thing that has the arrow pointing you need to copy your IP address for your PS4 so once you view your connection it says copy this please copy this the circle arrow is your IP address so copy that down and copy your default gateway because your default gateway is your is your modem and the default gateway you're gonna type that into your webbing browser that you have open as you can see I have my relevant browsing open I type in my default gateway my default gateway IP is same for everybody else is 192.168.1.254 this is in TNT if you have Comcast or you have Xfinity your default gateway is gonna be a little bit different than mine but the only difference is to make sure you have your 10 digit uh, t 10 digit uh, access code. Now the reason why I said that because that is the access code to enter your modem. Now once you have this setting pretty much up and going, go to settings. This is AT&T that we're talking. Go to settings and click on firewall and click on applications pinholes DMZ. You should have a screen like this. And you're going to enter your IP address where the arrow is pointing at at the bottom where it says IP address and then it says choose. You're going to type in your IP address for your PS4. Now the reason why I say that is because your IP address is very important to you. So you're going to type in your IP address into here into that white bar. So make sure that you copy down your IP address. You copy down your default gateway. You enter your default gateway number into your into your Google Chrome or your Internet Explorer search bar or just the bar where it says, you know, what is it when you, when you put in Google.com, you put it into that bar and you put in that default gateway number in and it should pop up whatever, you know, modem that you use to getting access to your internet. Make sure that you have a 10 digit code, 11 digit code, sometimes an eight digit code to access your modem. Me for at and my access code is on my modem. So make sure that you, if you have at and like me, make sure that you look at your modem and it will tell you your access code for that particular device. So make sure you even copy that down too. So let me just run this back. Type in your default gateway into the bar, into the Google Chrome bar, or into the Internet Explorer. Once you have that, it's going to pop up. It's going to ask you your 10-digit access code for your at and modem. Once you do that, it's going to pop up to this type of screen. It's going to tell you home. It's going to tell you the site map. But your most importantly, 
go to settings then you're going to click on firewall click on the firewall button and it's going to pop up it's going to tell you status and then the next part the second part where this the circle red uh the circles the red circle is at it's going to say application pinholes and dmz you're going to enter your ip your ps4 ip address your ip address for your ps4 you're going to put that into the bar do not click choose yet i'm going to show you the next step what you need to do once you enter your ip address for your ps4 do not touch anything else until i show you the next step part so let's get started on to the next part so make sure that you follow the steps that i'm saying okay firewall application pinholes dmz enter your ip address that you got from your view connection status your ip address for your ps4 and you're going to click you're going to put it in there do not click choose yet you're going to enter the ip address and go on from the next step all right so once you got that kind of set you got your ip address in you're going to click ps4 you're going to find the application list you're going to find ps4 onto the application list and then once you find ps4 you're going to add it to there and then you're going to click the second part of this it's going to say allow application to have access you're going to click on here and then you're going to click save it's going to take like a good couple of minutes once it's saved once everything's saved and your hosting application says ps4 you successfully did it do not add anything do not use user defined just put just find just go to application list and find it it's going to say ps4 your ip address and then save next you're going to open point port4.com i will leave in the link in the description down below this is the key step that you really need uh, port4.com will give you a list of numbers for call of duty world war ii and other games that you tend to like to use that are mostly popular like players underground and destiny 2 and of course call of duty world war ii they have a list of port4 numbers that you can definitely definitely use in the future so once you kind of click onto that website it's going to look something like this on your right hand screen it's going to say recent games but you're going to look at list of more games now the reason why i said click list of more games because list of more games is the recent games that kind of come out like call of duty world war ii because on the recent games they still got call of duty advanced warfare and infinity warfare and those games are so old so i don't know why once you click list of more games call of duty world war ii should pop up really easily these are the numbers that you need to have. So if you want to pause the video, pause the video and just copy down the numbers automatically, or you can find the numbers on port4.com. These numbers are really key to really have. So make sure that you copy those down, paste, do what you gotta do. So like I said, you're gonna open port4.com, you're gonna hit list of more games, and then it's gonna give you some pictures and a list of games that it was recently and you're going to see call of duty world war ii right then and there once you click list of more games it's going to be right then and there it's going to be destiny 2 players underground call of duty world war ii and sniper elite 4. so go to list of more games click on that and it's going to pop it up now i don't understand why they just didn't put in the list but they didn't anyways they put call like i said they put call of duty infinity warfare and advanced warfare like those games are so completely old so once you copy those number downs you'll be set and ready to go now like i said on the screen on the right hand side of the screen it's going to say call of duty world war ii as you can see right there that's what i'm talking about the name of the website is called port port4.com so copy that down and save it somewhere for later down the road because there's gonna be a lot more games coming out sooner than later Okay, once you type in, well, not type in, well, but once you copy the numbers down for Call of Duty World War II, you're going to go back to your at and page, web, uh, web and browsing page. And it's going to ask you to add new user defined application. You're going to click on there. Okay, so click add new, new user defined application. Do not do other servers. Do not click games or other applications. Click add a new user defined application. So click on that. Click on that little circle button that you have right there. As you see the little circle, click on that. Once you click on that, it's going to give you a new page. It's going to say application profile name. So type in Call of Duty World War II. It's going to ask you create application definition. And it's going to ask you TC, TCP and UDP. And it's going to ask you from port to range, from and to. So 
you're going to type in TC, you're going to click TC, TCP, and you're going to put 443443. So on the next slide, on the next slide, I'm going to show you a video how I do that. So copy it the same way. So make sure that you have the port four number, Call of Duty World War II web and browser already open for you guys. Uh, AT&T &T TV service, which I don't have, but I didn't add it in anyway, so I just, you know, didn't copy that. So I'm going to start for 443. You can do the same way as me. You can try to see if it works for you, but for me, I didn't take that chance. So this is TCP, TCP, and we're just going to add that to the list. So as you can see, the application name is already being used already because I already have the application name. See? So you're going to keep doing that. You're going to add the application profile. You're going to put in TCP. You're going to do that for the rest of the numbers. You're going to put 374, 374, add that to the list. You're going to do the same thing again. You're going to put 3478, and then you're going to put 3480, TCP. Then you're going to go here. You're going to do UDP. You're going to do the same exact thing, 374, 374. And this one's 374.78. So you're going to do 34.78. And you're going to do 34.79. You're going to add that to the list. So it's going to come down to here. here. It says definition list. But of course, we don't have that yet because I already added it already. So you're going to copy the same exact way how it's copied. When it says TCP, you're going to click TCP. And you're going to put 443, 443 like that. Okay. So you guys are probably wondering why I put it the same way because that's what it says. 443, 443. And as you can see when it says 3478, 3478, you're going to put it on there. But when you see the dash, it says 3480. You're going to do the same thing, 3480, just like that, okay? And then you're going to do the same thing for UDP. TCP, UDP. When you see UDP, you're going to put 3074. 3074 and then you see 3478 you're going to do 3479 just like how it is this copy there you're going to add that to list so once you add all those things to your list you don't click back don't click the back button you're going to go to application pinholes dmz back again all right so once you kind of put every the port numbers inside and you click uh back to the settings do not click back don't click don't click the back button once you enter the numbers just click back it says application pinholes dmz you're going to click on that top part so what you're going to do is you're going to once you come back to this exact page make sure you come back to this exact page it's going to ask you user define so click on user define and then go to the application list and found and find cod World War II, called Infinity Warfare. As you can see, I did Infinity Warfare and they worked for Infinity Warfare too. So go to user define, go to the application of whatever game port number you put in. It could be Destiny 2, uh, called World War II, called Infinity War, Black Ops 3, or Advanced Warfare, or, you know, Players Underground. Whatever game that you use, find it on the application list and then add it to the hosting application. And once you add it to the hosting application, press save and everything will be saved for you. Okay. It's pretty, it's, it's a little confusing, but once you kind of get it and watch a few videos of people kind of explaining it, 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 it you, you kind of get the jig of it. So click user divine, click that button. The last one at the bottom says user divine, go to the application list, find the game that you put the port numbers in and then add it to the hosting application and as you can see it says ps4 and called infinity warfare or called world war ii so once you add that to the hosting application press save and you're pretty much done now you're not completely all the way done you have to go back to your playstation network and do a few little tweakings to make sure that the net to make sure that the net application is pretty much open Okay, so once you have like your PS4 kind of open or your Xbox One, but like I said in this video, I'm gonna show you the PS4 settings, the Xbox One settings. It should be like pretty much the same as the PS4. It might be a little bit different, so I don't know. Um, go to settings, you go back to network, and then you go back and you go back to set up internet connection. Now, the reason why I said this is because there's a key part that you need to do before 
you open up Call of Duty World War II. You could, so you set up your internet connection. It says use LAN cable. Then it says how do you want to set up your internet connection? You go to customs. This one says IP address settings. You just press automatic. This do not do not specify. Uh, the DNS settings, you just click automatic. But when you come to your M2U settings, this is the key part. Now, a lot of people told you, oh, when you go hit click manually, just put in this number. So take out 1500 and put 1473. No, it's not 1473. Tell you the truth, it's 1500. Keep it at 1500. Do not change it to 1473 because there's no difference to that. I tried that. That didn't work. It might be working for some people, probably in different countries. But I'm in the United States and the M2U is 1500. So once you do that, you're going to click done. And then you're going to click next. This is talking about the proxy server. Do not use. And it says internet settings update. And then you're going to click test internet connection. It's going to say it's I, uh, obtain IP address, internet connection, and blah, blah, blah. It's going to take a while because I got to check the internet speed and the download speed. Eh, it's okay. It's fair enough. It's not too bad. Once you go back, everything should pretty much good because you test the internet connection. And you can view your connection status, make sure everything's good, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to go back. We're going to open up. Well, not open up. I got to take out the CD for Black Ops 3 because I was testing out Black Ops 3 too. So I'm going to move this disk. So just give me a second. All right, so once you kind of get your settings all, you know, you press through it and it gives you the introduction. You're going to click play online. It's going to, you know, connect to online servers. Next, they got to fetch your online profile, which I have no idea why they did this. Block Ops 3 and Infinity Warfare, you just click, 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 and you're done. Here, you got to fetch this and do this. Then they got to come up to a loading screen, which makes no sense whatsoever. All right, so once you come up to the screen, you're going to go to settings. And then once you click settings, you got to scroll down to click console info. And that will tell you if your net type is moderate, open, or something else. So when I click console info, and as you can see, my IP address and my graphical origin is hidden. So make sure that it's hitting on this part. And then as you can see, the net type is finally open. And it says network access translations is the way the map on the entire network to a single IP address. This is a common way for doing networking the most in most home and work environments. So your net type is open. This is the most desirable net type for playing online for Call of Duty World War II. Now, if your thing is moderate, there's gonna be some problems. Now, I kind of noticed when I was joining into matches, I was getting into matches a little bit more quicker than I was with moderate net type because it took me forever. So, you know, I joined Team Deathmatch. Uh, there's a lot more potential games than it was before because now I have like over 50. Back then when I had the moderate one, there was only like 20 and 30 of those met, uh, uh, th all those matches. Now, Call of Duty World War II, um, a lot of people's like, oh, will it improve my KD ratio? Will it improve my gameplay? Tell you the truth. Not really. I mean, I'm not good in, in this Call of Duty World War II. I'm pretty much good in Infinity Warfare and Black Ops 3. My KD ratio is like 1.5. 
Here is like a 0 0.94. <laughs> so, but to tell you the truth, I've been getting into matches that people have been winning. And in moderates, I was getting in matches that were pretty much low. And of course, the shotgun in this map is pretty much overused. So, I think I got a double kill right there. I think so. I'm not going to be lying. But I've been getting into matches where people are basically winning matches. Um, I, I remember when I was in the moderate version of it, I was getting into matches where our, we were getting our ass kicked. So in this portion of it, um, I'm pretty much in a match that is pretty good people. Um, I'm, I'm kind of happy for that. Like, tell you the truth, you don't know how happy I am. It doesn't make me a, a better COD player because the hit dotation in this game is like hit first die first you know you can try your luck i mean <laughs> they, like i said i'm not really a good cod player and i hate this map so <laughs> you know this map is not really my favorite because everybody as you can see is using the shotgun the shotgun is being overused and people are just throwing grenades left and right i'm like four and four uh my connection is green tell you the truth i am very happy about that um because my connection used to be dropping like steadily oh he's right there so as you can see we have victory but i came into this match a little late but like i tell you guys i've been winning matches more better and open and open that than i did was in moderate because i when i was in moderate network i was getting in matches but we just like it was like 30 to 10 and then and the people that i was joining suck so i'm kind of glad that i'm in in a matchmaking system where it is pretty much fair. If you guys have any questions or any concerns about about these steps, you guys let me know and I'm more than happy to help you guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend and have a happy Friday. And I will see you guys in the next one.